Hare Krishna. Welcome to the Krishna Tarian way of cooking. So today I am going to share with you a very nice gluten free, grain free, ekadashi friendly recipe of masala dosa. This masala dosa is made from quinoa which is very much suitable for ekadashi. Now before starting the video recipe, I wanted to inform something in regards to ekadashi. Many times on the ekadashi video recipe, many people uh, have said that this ingredient doesn't work, that ingredient doesn't work for ekadashi or there are questions whether this ingredient work or doesn't work. So all I wanted to inform was that these ingredients are not a taboo that it cannot be used on ekadashi. There are just different standards of performing ekadashi based on the austerity level uh, an individual actually performs. There are many ikadashi recipes which have been shared uh, also by some Prabhupada disciples like Sri Nandana Nandana Prabhu and they are also using these kind of ingredients. So always know that as long as it is not any grains, beans, lentils, legumes or pulses, those things are allowed. Now if you do not feel comfortable in using these ingredients for your ikadashi fasting, then you can just skip these recipes and make them on regular days. The main thing to be remembered is that we have to reduce the demand of the body on these days and remember Krishna as much as we can through our japa and sadhana. And along with that, these recipes are also for those people who are unable to or cannot do fasting completely on strict standards they can utilize these kind of recipes. So I hope things are cleared. Let's proceed towards the video. So a night before I have taken two cups of quinoa in a ceramic bowl and then I added nearly five cups of nice filtered water to it. After that I have added nearly two tablespoons of lemon juice. After this, I will be covering it with a plate and letting it rest for nearly 6 to 8 hours near a dark and warm place. Make sure to use either a glass or ceramic ware because this helps the acidic medium to not react with the food. Now the next day, I washed twice the quinoa nicely with warm water and drained this water completely. Now in a blender, take half cup of water and then add the entire quinoa in it. After adding the quinoa, I again added another quarter cup of water and then I blended it into a very nice smooth paste. Now this blended mixture, I will be pouring it in a ceramic bowl again and then letting it to rest for another 4-5 to five hours near a warm place. Now by that time we will start preparing the filling. I took 1 tablespoon of sunflower oil, 2 green chilies, few curry leaves, 2 teaspoon of cumin seeds and then sorted it well. This is all on medium heat. Now I reduced the heat to low and then added a cup of cabbage, covered and cooked it for around 2 minutes, checked it again. Little bit stirred it and then again covered and cooked for another 3 to 4 minutes. Now this looks little bit golden brown. So now I'll be adding nearly one chopped tomato, half teaspoon of dry turmeric root powder. This is the turmeric root I had at home and I grinded it. And then I added nearly half cup of water. And I'll cover it and cook for around 2 minutes. The tomatoes haven't softened yet, so I will cover it again and let it cook until they soften. 2 teaspoons of salt and then 5 boiled potatoes which were cubed nicely. Always make sure that the potatoes are cooked but not completely mushy. That will help. And then I added half cup of water more and covered it cooked it until the potatoes completely became soft and then one cup of chopped cilantro turn off the stove and covered it and kept it aside 
Now I kept on the element the dosa pan to heat up and here is the fermented quinoa batter which we will be using for making the dosa base. Now here I added 1 teaspoon of eno which is sodium bicarbonate and also 1 teaspoon of salt. The batter will become fluffy. I rubbed some oil on it and then I sprinkled water and then wiped it out and reduced the heat to low. And now pouring a spoonful of batter and moving it in circular motion. Now keeping the heat on medium and letting the base cook. You can also drizzle some oil, very little, not too much because it's a non-stick tawa. And then adding the filling and letting this entire base cook until this sides and in between you are seeing it golden brown and then folding it so this shows see how crispy our dosa got let me show you another one after one dosa is done again we will be sprinkling some water and reducing the heat to low wiping this off completely then pouring a spoonful of batter and moving it slowly in circular motion in the outward direction. You can drizzle some oil. The reason why reducing the heat to low is recommended is so that the batter easily moves in the outward direction without it cooking in the center too much. So here the second dosa is prepared. You can see the texture of the quinoa dosa which has been prepared. It's so crispy. So like this I was able to prepare nearly 8 masala dosas. I'll just cut this in the center and show you. I will be placing the tulsi leaf and offering it at the lotus feet of Shri Krishna. Thank you so much for watching. Hare Krishna. Alright.